Good evening, this is Bell Geode, and we are back with some more Microsoft Flight Simulator. And finally, it's no longer a preview video. Yay! The sim has been out for almost a week as of this video, and I hope you're all enjoying it. So for this particular video, there is no flying. This is going to be a Microsoft Flight Simulator short. And the reason why is I would like to teach you something that I learned about this sim quite some time ago, but it's kind of good to see it in action. So today I'm going to teach you how to make a cache or a manual cache of the scenery. First of all, why would you want to cache your scenery? Well, let's say, for example, that your internet is really not the best and you're probably only going to fly in one specific region of the world. You don't want it to have to download data all the time and then parse said data and create the scenery in the sim every single time you log in. So what you can do is you can actually create a cache, a manual cache that will allow you to have whatever quality you set the scenery to be for that particular area. And you can actually have multiple areas, but we'll talk about that in a moment. So our guinea pig for tonight, we're going to go back to where this series all started, and that would be Jamaica. So what I want to do for this video is I'd actually like to create a manual cache of the entire island of Jamaica so that it'll always be there, even if I'm flying offline. All right, here's how we do that. We're going to go back to the main menu, and we're going to go to Options. Once inside of options, we're going to go to general. And then from the left side of the screen, we're going to look for data or data, however you want to pronounce it. Now at the very bottom, this is the area that we are most interested in. You'll see it says rolling cache settings. When you're flying normally online, it's downloading data for you. So no matter where you are in the world, it is going to be downloading stuff. You can actually set a rolling cache limit. You'll notice I have mine set to 70 gigabytes. And you can set the path where you would like it to download. By default, it is going to my third SSD, drive O which contains the Microsoft Flight Simulator folder as well as the x folder. That's the only things that I have on that drive. And if we want to delete any previous rolling cache information, this is how we would do it here. And then finally, we have manual cache. Now, this is the one that we are most interested in tonight. So we're going to click View. Give it a second to load up. And first thing you'll notice on the right side of the screen, you'll see it once again gives you your cache location and the overall size on that particular disk. That's a two terabyte hard drive, by the way, and you can see it only has 550 gigs available. Explain. Yeah, that's all explain. <laughs> Thank you, Orbix. True Earth. All right, so for this particular cache, I have allotted a size of 50 gigabytes to use for my manual caching. And if you look below, it says cache region, select all. We are actually going to create a new cache region. First, we need to go to the part of the world that we would like to do that. I believe right now we're around Paris, if I'm not too mistaken. Let me just zoom it out here. Yeah, I'm assuming it's somewhere along those lines. That definitely looks like France to me. Or maybe it's not Paris. It looks like it's a little too far south. But anyway, we're going to cross the Atlantic here. And eventually we will get to North America and the Caribbean. And look at that. There's Jamaica in the center of our screen. Incidentally, this is the same information that is on Bing Maps. So what you're seeing there is all Bing information. Not surprising. Microsoft owns Bing. That's how they were able to pull this whole thing off. Bear in mind, however, Bing information is a little out of date. I'm just putting that politely there. But I do have assurances that whenever they update Bing, they will also update the sim in real time. So better get those satellites flying there, Microsoft. All right, so we want to cache Jamaica. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click New Cache Region. And you'll notice a grid appears and some other nifty little things on the right hand side. So a quick primer as to how this works. You're going to be using your mouse for this. In order to pan the map, you're going to use your left mouse button and you're going to hold it down. And in order to paint the areas that we would like to have cast, we're going to use the right mouse button. Now you'll notice it also says brush mode hold 
right below that it says cash quality low. That, that means each one of these squares, when we start painting, it's going to give us a lower quality, which is still good, mind you. But if you want to zoom in to, let's say, Kingston, the capital of Jamaica, you'll notice it now switches to medium quality. And if we want to highlight the airport that we started this entire series from, Tinson Pen, now it says high quality. So that's what we're going to be using to create our cache. So the first thing that I like to do, and bear in mind I had to delete all of my cache just so I could show you this specifically. The first thing I like to do is I like to actually name my region. That way I know at a glance, if I look at the folder, exactly what it's called. And we're calling this one Jamaica. So we're going to start at low quality. And what we're going to do is basically just hold down the right mouse button and drag it all the way across Jamaica. I don't know how far in the water you would need to go because obviously there's nothing really to render in the water so you may just want to have it like go one square out that way it covers all of the area of the land that you would like to have cached so we'll get the bottom part over by Kingston we'll get the boot of Clarendon in there and then we'll get Manchester and St. Elizabeth and right over there okay now, believe it or not, this is fine. This is all you need to do just to get the, the basic quality, which, like I said, is still pretty good. It's the equivalent of, I guess, default quality. But let's say you want to have some areas a little bit higher. Well, this is where we're going to zoom in. I'm pretty sure that we probably want Kingston to look a little bit better. So once again, we've zoomed into where it says medium, and I'm just going to hold it down and highlight the entire area right there. Try to choose a spot on the map where I can stop. There we go. And maybe we want to include Spanish Town as well. So we'll just include Spanish Town and Hellshire Hills and all of those areas there. All right. So that is all medium quality. You'll notice it's a different shading. And perhaps we also want to include Montego Bay. I don't see why not. So highlight all of Mo Bay and surrounding areas. And we'll just include that as well. In fact, let's go a little wild here. Let's get uh, Negril also in on the mix. So we'll hold that down and we'll get the entire coastline where Negril is. And for me personally, I am probably also going to want to have Mandeville in there. So let's see if we can find where Mandeville is. I want to say it's right around here. Yep, there's the old Bauxite Lake. I remember that from being a kid. And just below it is the town of Mandeville. So we're going to highlight this entire area here. All of it. There we go. And maybe I would really like to find that house that I lived in as a child. So we could zoom all the way in now. Till it gets to this level. And we can just highlight only the town of Mandeville itself. So let me just see. I know it wasn't up here. I want to say we've already covered it. It's somewhere in the central area here. But we're just going to get the rest of Mandeville while we're at it. Include Williams Field, where the train used to go. All of that. Okay. So there we go. We've got all of Mandeville. Now, of course, I probably also want to have the other cities in there as well. So let's go back to Montego Bay really quick. There we go. We definitely want these little islands here, so we'll include that. We'll zoom up. We'll include everything around Donald Sangster International Airport, including Sandals Resort. And we'll even include this, sec this little section here. And then we'll go down and perhaps also include this bottom part. There we go. We've got all of that. Negril looks pretty good on its own, so we'll leave Negril as is. Uh, as far as like Boscobel, Ocho Rios, that area there, we could include that whole area. I believe this is Ocho Rios only because, well, there's a cruise ship right there, so let's set that up. We'll start first with medium. Just grab that whole area and then we can make it high right around the city itself. And we'll zoom a little bit to the east to try and get um, 
the airport as well. I want to say the airport is closer to this way. Is it? I think it might be. Oh, wait. Nope. Nope. It's even further east than that. Okay. There it is. There it is. So we're going to want that entire area to be higher level. Notice if you choose higher level, it'll automatically box around the medium level area. So we could actually connect all of this together just to make sure that that entire area just looks fabulous. All right. So that is all Ocho Rios. Might as well just include this one too. Zoom in just a touch. There we go. That's going to make our city look incredible. All right, and then finally we'll go back to Kingston. Uh, I'm probably going to just do the area around Tins and Pens, so we'll get like the port area here. And there it is. And maybe we also want to have uh, Port Royal included. Port Royal is right here on the end. So we'll do that, and we'll just take the entire peninsula there, the whole Palisado Strip. So we'll go over to Norman Manley International Airport, snag that, and we'll just take it all the way to where it connects with the mainland. Oh, let me just get this section here. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So. That is the entire area of uh, Kingston that we would like to have included in the higher quality. Uh, let me just grab this side here too, because you know what? I really do want to see Kingston looking good. So let's do all of that. And we'll get all of that. Now, one very important thing to note, the higher in quality you get, the more disk drive it is going to take as it stores all the relevant data that you would need to make this really look good. So please keep that in mind. You only have a finite amount of resources available to you on your hard drive, so conduct yourself accordingly. And also, it's also going to determine how long it takes for us to render this entire thing. All right. So now that we have our entire map of Jamaica with all the areas that we want, so we've got Kingston, we've got Ocho Rios, Mandeville, Montego Bay, and Negril. The last thing we need to do is hit finish and download. So we're going to click that. And you'll notice it says it is now downloading Jamaica. It'll give you estimated time remaining. The numbers are a little bit off. If it says like one minute, I have noticed sometimes it takes up to three minutes. But since this may take a while, of course, we're going to do the magic of editing and we will come back just as it's about to finish. Okay, so we are back and as you can see, we're just about at 92%. It says 25.50 remaining. I'm not quite sure if that's in seconds, but just for your reference, it took just shy of about three minutes for us to get to this point from the time that I cut the video earlier. So really not too bad. And let's see what we have as an end result. You'll notice it says it's updating the manual cache. This may take several minutes. Please note that whenever Bing is updated, it should also want to update any manual cache that you've got saved. So that particular session of your flight sim, it may actually be a little bit of a delay. Okay, folks, and there we have it. So you'll see that the grand total size on my SSD is 1.35 megabytes for the entire island of Jamaica with those areas highlighted at a higher quality than normal. Not too shabby. Of course, bear in mind, if you are doing larger swaths of the world, that number is going to increase dramatically depending on what is in that particular scenery. But as you can see, in the grand scheme of things, 
to make us just a tiny island. So there you go. I hope this was helpful to you. If you enjoy what you have seen and if you've learned something, please feel free to give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so, and that way you'll get notifications as to when I put up more content. This is Bell Geode. I have been using Microsoft Flight Simulator, and this was a Microsoft Flight Simulator short. I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao!